having good data is very important, especially in today's age of Apple affecting Facebook advertising. But aside from having good data, knowing how to read your data is even more important because that's where you actually gain the quality insights that help push your campaigns further. What's up guys, Nikita from aspectagency.com and today I'll be showing you how to set up your Facebook advertising columns properly so that way you know how to read your data and know how to understand your data when it comes down to advertising. So like I mentioned before the intro, knowing how to read your data and having the right data set up and at your fingertips basically is important. So let's go ahead and jump into my computer here and I'll go ahead and show you exactly how I have my dashboard set up so that way you can um, either take inspiration from it, copy it completely, have a, a good variation and understand exactly what I look for when looking at specific campaigns that we're running for our clients. So let's go ahead and jump in here real quick. And on the right side of the screen, you can see all the different um, columns that I would be setting up on Facebook, as well as on the left, you'll see our Facebook ad account. And I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to set everything up here. It's very easy. And once you've done it once, you can do it time and time again. So here we have our, you know, we're, on, we're in our ads account. So what you would go ahead and first do is go to this customized section, go to customize columns. And usually what I would do is just like fully clear everything out until And I would just manually research everything because it's a lot easier than dragging and dropping everything. So next up is CPM. Let's go ahead and add that in there. Then reach. Then link clicks. Outbound clicks. These are clicks that are actually going outside of Facebook. Landing page views. CPC cost per link click actually, um, you can see there. CTR, so link click through rate. Add to cart. So this one is important, I usually do total, and then I go ahead and subtract all of these because it's just the total, otherwise these will be showing up as each individual subsections. Um, then we would do cost per add to cart as well. And then we have uh, checkout intent, which I'll get to in a second. Then we have checkouts initiated. Total plus cost. Then we have completion of checkout. So that's just a custom metric that we'll set up later, like I said. Now let's go to purchases. Total value cost. And then what we would go ahead and do is cost of purchase would go over here. AOV is another custom metric. Um, amount spent. ROAS. And another thing I like to do is attribution setting. And quality uh, ranking. I don't have them mentioned here, but these just go, you can see these based on the ads. So let's go ahead. These usually are in the last section, but uh, let's go to amount spent. It usually goes in front of the purchase conversion value, purchase ROAS, attribution setting, and there we go. We can also save this as a preset as well. And the cool thing is, uh, I'll just go ahead and call it Nikita. Click apply. And we can also make this our default. And what making it the default is, is when you go ahead and click into your ad account, you can automatically go to these columns and you can go to these performance columns and see all the data being poured in here. So you can see all the attribution settings, our ROAS, purchase event, amount spent, cost per purchase, uh, etc. Now, what were these custom metrics that I was talking about here and how do you set these up? So what you have to go ahead and do is you would have to go ahead and go to ads reporting. Let's 
go ahead and create a report. We would go ahead and click a pivot table and then metrics. And this is where we would go ahead and create a custom metric and actually set these metrics up. So here we can go ahead and click create. If it pops up, there we go. We just go ahead and click name this checkout intent. Uh, we do this based on a percentage and then do add to cards divided by link clicks. divided by link clicks who has access you can either do only you or everyone in this business has access to it so we'll click create metric let's do another one um, completion of checkout this is another percentage so we can just do percentage and this would be purchase divided by initiated checkouts. Oh, we're going to do a team, but that's okay. Let's do one more metric here, and that's AOV. Uh, AOV and CVR are also very useful. Uh, let me do AOV just real quick. So it's just. Purchase conversion value divided by purchases. Whole team, create metric. And lastly, just make this whole team. And lastly, let's do CVR, conversion rate. And then what we would do here is basically purchases or the, not only, it doesn't have to be purchases, but but it could be your just like ideal metric that you measure for divided by unique link clicks and run the team, create a metric. There we go. And now that you have those saved, what you can do is go back to your ads manager, go to your columns, customize columns, and then when you can, when you go to everyone with access to this business, you can go ahead and add all these metrics up. So conversion rate, we can just plop down next to cost per purchase. Same thing with AOV. Completion of checkout goes to above purchases and then checkout intent goes above checkouts initiated. Say was preset, Nikita's already there, apply, replace. And now we have all these metrics uh, put in like the CVR, the AOV, and all these other custom metrics. And those are just the metrics that uh, we personally use. You can go ahead and create tons of other metrics that you think are going to be helping you out significantly. So I would highly recommend just looking deeper into this tool and diving more into it. Anyways, that's it for creating your own custom columns. Now, are you a store owner and are you looking to add anywhere between fifty to $100,000 monthly recurring revenue to your Shopify store? If so, let's go ahead and schedule a scaling initiative call. The link for it is down in the description below. And let's see how much Aspect can actually help your business grow. Now, with that being said, that's it for the video. If you liked the video, hit the like button. And if you have any other questions regarding Facebook ads or anything regarding e-commerce, please let me know down in the description or not down in the description, down in the comments below. I would be there answering your comments. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.